Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at the most crushing things someone has said. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I have about 40 days to live. My girlfriend who I dated for two years, who ended up getting a heart tumor. It was a couple years ago, but I still see her when I close my eyes. I still hear that sentence. I can never watch movies about these topics anymore. Oh... I didn't think it was going to start this heartbreaking, you know? That's really sad. Makeup might help other people, but it won't help you because you're ugly. Do you understand that? My dad, after I put eyeshadow on when I was a little girl. How are you going to tell your own kid that they're ugly when you're the one that gave them the jeans, you know? How are you gonna tell your own kid is ugly when it's your fault anyways, huh? You know what I mean, like, huh? I was 22 years old at the time, have two younger sisters with the same mother. We lost her to cancer. She was only 44. Sisters were only 11 and 12. Their dad had been my stepdad since I was two years old. Two weeks after she passed away, he told my sisters, now that she's dead, I'm not a part of the family anymore. They told me the next day they couldn't see me anymore. 20 years of being together because they said he's been their stepdad since they were two and they're 22 years old now. So meaning they've known the sisters for the sister's entire life. And this is what he does. Oh my what is this? <sighs> my ex was going through my email and computer daily. I didn't think much of it because I wasn't hiding anything. However, one day I walked in on her at my computer and asked her about it. She said, I am looking for a reason to hate you. I moved out that weekend. What the heck? What? So does she just want to break up with him or something? Like, you can break up with someone without hating them, you know? You don't have to hate someone to break up with them. She has it so good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, her relationship was so good that she wanted to ruin it kind of thing. What? The doctors say he has a 70% chance of not making it. I was on my way to my last important college test. I asked to go see him, but that he looked terrible and wouldn't want anyone seeing him like that. I'm not a religious guy, but I prayed in the test and said, let me fail every test from now on to let him live. I failed the test and he lived. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> Why am I crying? Finally, a good ending, a good ending. Nice. I mean, failing every test isn't that bad. <laughs> you know, that just means you don't have to take any tests anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just happy that, you know, you lived. Oh, My then girlfriend of one and a half years said that the problem with our relationship was that I wasn't her ex-boyfriend. Oh. Well, now he is. <laughs> what the heck? That's a long way to break up with someone. Just be like, I want to break up. But they really had to choose this route. They really had to be like, the problem with our relationship is that you're not my ex. So yeah, break up with me and then our relationship will be good. So confusing. I feel like some people really just be running around circles and getting nowhere. Just say it straight up. My grandma said to me whilst on her deathbed, I'm so glad I got to know you for so long. I was 18. That absolutely demolished me and it still does when I even think about it. Mm. <sighs> Stories like these always make me feel another way because it's like, basically just don't take anyone for granted. You just don't know. So just be nice to the people that you love while you can be nice to them and not regret it when something does happen. <laughs> it's a shame you're not beautiful like your mother and sisters when I was 15. <gasps> Who are you to judge them, huh? Who the heck says these kind of things? This person must be really good looking and someone is just jealous. 
you know, and trying to make them feel bad. My parents were divorced when I was five. When I was 27, I met my mother again. First thing she did was grab me by my cheeks and tell me, oh, you're just as ugly as your dad. And then she laughed. There was nothing funny about it, and it crushed my heart. My dad is still my hero. He raised five kids on his own. How do some people not grow up? <laughs> you know, like, you expect a mum to know better, right? But, like, how is it that some kids are more mature than their own mothers? Hmm? You are not my daughter anymore, my mum. After I tried to stay neutral in an argument she was having with my dad. <gasps> Someone forcing you to take the sides just because they want to be right. You should never take the side. <laughs> Like, you should only take someone's side if you feel like they are right, not because they want you to take their side. Or best thing, just stay neutral. <laughs> just be like, I'm not taking anyone's side. Why do some people do that? Seriously. Like, you're just making it hard for your kid. You asking them to take sides is the worst thing a parent could do, you know? Why? I wasn't even in love with you. I just stayed with you until I could find someone better. Two years later and I'm in a happy relationship now, but every time I think about that, it cuts deep. I felt so inferior and worthless until I realized that I was better than believing him. You go, girl. You go. Like, I don't even get why they had to say that out loud. You know, like, he could have kept it inside him and just broke up with her, you know? But, like, he said it out loud to hurt her feelings. Like, what? He gets off to her hurting or something? You know, like, why do people do this? Why do people have to say it out loud? You don't have to. You can just go on your way and live with that toxic thought of yours, you know? But okay. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Hurt as much today as it did seven years ago. We're still married. Oh. Oh. I guess they just fell out of love. And I guess... Sometimes it's just hard to get divorced when you still love someone but you're not in love with them. You know, like you love them so much and you care about them but you're just not in love with them. I don't even know what it is, honestly. I feel like my definition of what this sentence is is just someone who just loves you so much and cares about you so much just because they're comfortable with you and they've been with you for a long time but they have no romantic feelings left for you you know like it turned platonic or something <laughs> i don't even fully understand this sentence myself i'm surprised i dated her i normally only date pretty girls my ex said to a friend huh. so what are you trying to say that she has like a great personality i feel like this is both an insult and a compliment at the same time, you know? I love her and she loves me. My significant other of 14 years telling me he has been cheating on me with one of my very close family members who was living with us. I moved out, but they are still happily together with their first child. Two years later, I still find myself crying over the loss of two people I loved. Hmm. This cuts deep, you know? That is so sad, losing two of your most important people in your life because they betrayed you and them still being happy, you know? <sighs> How dare they? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!